Hey everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I meal plan and meal prep as a college student. I feel like meal planning and meal prepping has really helped me save a lot of time, save a lot of money, and I'm eating so much healthier because of it. Now, eating healthy is not the entire purpose of this, but it is a really big perk because I find myself gravitating less towards bags of chips and ramen and easy, simple, unhealthy lunches because I am in a time crunch. I'm running late, running out the door to class, um, but having things kind of planned out before you go to the grocery store, before you start your week can really just help you um, have a better balance, save yourself some time, and not be quite as stressed the morning of class. So without further ado, I'm excited to show y'all how I meal plan and meal prep gonna preface by saying this is something I've only recently started doing in the past few weeks so this will probably develop over time but um let's go if y'all are looking into meal planning and meal prepping the first thing I recommend you do is pull out your phone open up your notes app and create a new note in this new note you're going to write down all of your favorite school lunches um, preferably throw some healthy things in there so you can add a little variety, but just make a whole list of all of the things you enjoy eating for lunch and that are actually feasible to eat at school. Sometimes eating out might not be feasible um, and is not always the most financially, what's, what, what's the word? And sometimes eating out isn't always the most like financially smart choice. I personally eat out more than I'd like to admit, but I know that I would rather eat out dinner than I eat out lunch when I could eat out with like my boyfriend or my friends as opposed to paying to buy lunch just for myself. So mine personally is called school lunches and I only have six things on this list, but um, it's up to you. Do whatever you like. Um, write down all of your favorite lunches, things you can make easy variations of, and this is what you're going to use to meal plan for the week. So um, my first one is salad, pretty basic, but um, I love salad. I have a ton of different variations of it that I love. Lately, I've been loving spinach with tomatoes and mozzarella and a Greek vinaigrette. Um, this is super healthy, super light, super refreshing, and also it is so kind of green-filled, vitamin filled, mineral filled, that it does allow me to feel better eating something like um, a sweeter snack, a saltier snack or something on top of that because I am getting so many um, veggies and vitamins for the day. I also have pasta with garlic salt, which I didn't really know how to describe this, but there's this pasta that I love to make. I throw some mozzarella on there with some garlic salt. Um, some butter, some Italian seasoning, and sometimes I'll throw in other things like tomatoes or asparagus, and this is something just super convenient. I put it in a little cup, can throw it in the microwave at school for 30 seconds, and it is delicious. This is also super easy and convenient to make the night before. I also have peanut butter and jelly. I'm not a big fan of sandwiches, but um, every once in a while when I do get sick of these other things, I will gravitate towards a PB&J. Pretty simple, I don't buy bread a ton though, so that is something I definitely have to plan for. Hard boiled eggs, I've mentioned this, I don't eat a ton of meat, I eat chicken, um, eat fish occasionally, but I don't really cook fish. Um, so I try to find my protein in other things like mozzarella, eggs, cottage cheese, those sorts of things. Hard boiled eggs are just a nice thing to throw in my lunch easy to make way ahead of time and have them sit in my fridge for a week or so. These are super filling, so I feel like I'm getting a lot of bang for my buck. When I am on campus all day, I don't have all the space in the world to carry around a ton of food, so I like to bring things that are gonna make me feel full faster. Yogurt and granola, another great one when I'm feeling like something sweet that day. Protein, um, and then pasta salad pretty self-explanatory, um, super simple to make. You can throw some veggies in there so you're getting um, your vitamins, minerals, things like that. But then at the same time, you are getting a little bit more starchiness from that pasta. So it can kind of give you a better balance than just eating something like regular salad. Once you have this list, go ahead and open up another note and create a meal plan for the week. So mine says meals for the week for this week. 
and I have all of my meals I'm gonna eat written out. And with that, sometimes in parentheses, I'll put extra ingredients I need to buy at the grocery store. This will help me create my grocery list for when I go to the grocery store later. I have every single day of the week listed out separately with like a snack or um, another fruit or vegetable I want to eat with that. Oh my gosh, my nails look terrible. A lot of times I will tend to throw some other things in because I feel like I can never have too much food with me. I never come home from a really long day of class and work thinking, man, I ate too much at work. If anything, I always wish I had more food. Um, and I'm the kind of person that will like literally crash when I don't eat enough food. Um, I have chronic migraines and get sensory overload and I find that when I don't eat and drink enough, I will have like sensory overload attacks out of nowhere where my vision gets blurry and I get really sensitive to sound. So that on classes is horrible. So I need to make sure I'm eating a ton. Um, I also find that having all the days listed out separately helps me add some variety. When I am eating a salad with the same toppings every single day, I get sick of it so, so, so fast. Um, the pasta that I mentioned that I really like to make earlier, that was something I literally ate like four days a week for three weeks and I got so sick of it, didn't make it for two months and here we are adding it on my list again. Um, so having your meals written out before you go to the grocery store can give you a better idea of what you need to buy, how much you need to buy, um, and can also just help you make smarter decisions when you are shopping so you're not gravitating towards things like instant ramen that you can just fill up at the water fountain and throw at the microwave, things like that. Once you have that all made, go ahead and make a grocery list. I, like I said, find that grocery lists are absolutely essential for me. I put everything that I need to buy for the week and I really try to make an effort to throw some other things on there um, that, how do, how do I phrase this? That I maybe wouldn't think to get or eat or buy, but will kind of force myself to end up eating if that makes sense. How do I put this? If I buy a lot of fruits and vegetables, I'm gonna be gravitating towards eating those things before I reach for something like a bag of chips or some gummies or something because I'm worried it's gonna go bad. Um, granted, there comes a point when you can buy way too many and it literally is impossible to eat. If I buy a few more apples than I'm typically planning on buying, I'll end up reaching for those things for something like dessert or an extra snack, which is just another way to keep me eating healthy. I also like using a grocery list because if I have it planned out, again, I'm not gravitating towards things like chips and things like that quite as much because I see how many other things I am planning on buying um, and it helps me realize that, Madison, you do not have the space nor you do not have the stomach capacity to eat all of this stuff in a reasonable amount of time. So I've got my grocery list set, so let's go. I just got back from the grocery store. I started to put some things away, but I thought I would show you all um, the stuff I haven't put away yet. I, a lot of the stuff I'm planning to use for meals this week, I actually already had just because I tend to eat out a lot for dinner, which means I'm not going through food quite as often as I would if I was eating three meals a day here. I also don't always eat breakfast, so let's go. First things first, I got some lettuce. I try to make salads at least once a day, um, if not pretty close to that. So this will be good for dinners and um, lunches at school and things like that. I lately have been obsessed with spinach and arugula salads, but I'm kind of getting sick of them. So I switched it up and we're going with romaine today. Um, my favorite kind of salads are like I said, spinach or arugula with mozzarella and tomatoes. Um, kind of getting sick of that, so I went with the romaine, but I did get some mozzarella. These are the little mozzarella pearls. I love these things. They're just like little kind of balls, but they're like not spherical necessarily. They're all just kind of squished in here. I cut them in half um, with some tomatoes and like a Greek vinaigrette. So good, so good. Um, so light, so refreshing. Great to leave in like the fridge or something while I'm at work and at class um, and can just eat whenever, so. Um, 
I also got some mini for Folly. I really like to make this tomato mozzarella pasta. I kind of have a theme. I really like tomatoes um, and I like mozzarella. I don't eat a ton of meat, so this is a great way to get some protein, but um, I like to make pasta just a few times a week for lunch to mix it up a little bit, so I'm not totally getting sick of everything, and I haven't done this in a while, so this is a pasta that I really like to make. Um, I'll throw in like a little bit of butter and some Italian seasoning, and it's really good, super easy to just throw in the microwave for 30 seconds. Um, and nice quick easy lunch that also doesn't take up a lot of space in my backpack if I have a really busy day and need to bring an extra textbook or something like that. Um, I just got some yogurt. This is the Smooth Strawberry Yoplait. I'm not a big fan of Greek yogurt, but plain like original yogurt with granola is something I love for breakfast um, or for lunch if I ever get sick of some other things and want to change it up a little bit. I'm a big fan of kind of more savory breakfasts, so I eat a lot of cottage cheese with like hot sauce, um, scrambled eggs with hot sauce. I love hot sauce, but um, this is good. I already had some granola, but I needed more of this, so. I got some grapes. I love grapes. I try to mix up, oh, and I got some apples. I try to mix up my like fruits and veggies every week because if I'm eating like carrots and cucumbers every week, in 10 days time, I won't want it anymore. Um, so I try to mix up. I went for grapes and apples this week. Um, and then of course I have my salad. This will just be good. Another little thing to kind of throw in my backpack, eat between classes, um, before work on like a 10 minute break, something like that. There are some days that I am on campus from 8 a.m. to close to 8 p.m. at night and literally don't have any time to come home, which means a lot of the food I have to bring with me if I don't want to be buying food. So I try to buy things that are pretty dense and I sometimes feel like lettuce and like salad isn't always all that dense where something like a great like grapes or an apple will make you feel full for quite a long time without taking up like a ton of space in my backpack. So. And then I, of course, I'm such a junkie. I got some M&Ms. I already ate some when I was driving home. Um, I got these new little containers that I will show you all. And those will just be good for like portion control and things like that. Um, so I can still bring like a sweet snack with me to work, but I'm not eating like a whole bag of peanut M&Ms. So, um, and then, I love cookies. I try to only get cookies like once a month, but these are iced oatmeal cookies. And I let myself eat one of these a day. Um, something I can like break up and look forward to and can help like cure my sweet tooth craving without me like going nuts. So um, let's get to meal prepping. So <clears throat> like I mentioned, I picked up these cute little dressing, like salad dressing containers because I've been using like a big one and it takes up so much space. Um, I got these little guys, they're two tablespoons and they come with four of them and I thought that these would be absolutely perfect for little snacks um, and things like that. So um, pretty small but like I said good for portion control so I'm gonna go ahead and just make my containers for tomorrow for lunch um, and the nice thing about these is, let's see, perfect little portion control amount of peanut m &Ms. There's probably like what, 15 in there? Oh, 14, 15, okay, yeah. So there's 15 in there, fits pretty perfectly. That is just enough. These are so heavy um, that like, I wouldn't wanna eat much more than that, but you have a nice little snack, a nice little candy to pop in between class, um, and who doesn't love chocolate, especially when you're tired at the end of the day. So, um, this will be good for tomorrow. And one of my favorite salty snacks, I love, I'm, I'm just a junkie. I don't, I wouldn't say I have a sweet tooth or a salty tooth because I have both. Um, and I love spicy things, but one of my favorite little salty snacks is soy nuts. These are so good. Um, super high in protein. A quarter cup of these has 12 grams of protein. They're like dried edamame beans. Um, they're salty, they're crunchy, they're delicious. Um, and then it's also not like something that's been, I guess they say roasted, but it's not like something that's been fried, covered in a ton of oil, something like that. So, um, 
I thought these would be another good thing to throw in here for a little snack. Again, this is something that they have a very specific nutty texture that I wouldn't want to eat too much more than like one little cup of these at a time. So um, this will be nice because tomorrow I'm going to be on campus like 11 hours. Having really small kind of pre-cut fruits and veggies um, that I can easily throw into a container don't have to take the time the night before school um, to get ready is something that's really handy and helps me eat a lot healthier as well granted it's a Sunday so I'm kind of doing this for the week so I technically I'm doing it for tomorrow for school but um especially the morning of if I'm ever like super stressed and busy and running late if I already have my meal ready for the morning, it helps things just go so much more smoothly um, and I end up eating a lot healthier because I'm not grabbing something like ramen I can throw in the microwave um, and a bag of chips or something like that. So the nice thing is um, grapes are already kind of pre-portioned, which is something I really like to get when I know I'm having a busy week just because, like I said, that I'm not taking the time cutting it and things like that. Um, when watermelon's on sale or like not super expensive, I also really like to do this. Cut it ahead of time, get it ready, but I do feel like watermelon gets bad quite a bit faster than some other things that might be pre-cut. Or things like apples and cucumbers can kind of get gross if you leave them cut for too long. Um, sometimes I found that if I leave cucumbers in a closed container for too long, they get kind of slimy or the apples get brown. So that's something I'll just do in the morning, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some grapes ready for the week so I can just have some containers I can pull out. Another thing I love is having like bubblies or LaCroix, spindrifts, something along those lines, a nice cold drink with me um, when I'm at class, things like that. I find that if I'm just constantly drinking just plain water all day, I'll catch myself not drinking enough. Or something with a little bit of carbonation with my lunch or while I'm walking between classes um, can kind of help me just encourage me to keep drinking more just because I find them delicious they're so refreshing I kind of just buy whatever's on sale but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this lime bubbly in the fridge for tomorrow um, along with the rest of my food that way it's nice and cold for tomorrow if you struggle with drinking enough or maybe you get dehydrated maybe you're constantly gravitating towards coffee or something like that um, making like homemade iced unsweet tea is something that I love to do. Just throwing some like raspberry tea and some water overnight. Um, or a bubbly LaCroix spindrift like I said, something like that. I find this helps me drink so much more, especially when I'm on campus all day. I don't have access to ice. I love cold water and not all of like the water fountains are all that cold. So this is a great way, like I said, to just keep you drinking, keep you hydrated especially when it is hot or you're walking between classes a lot so as you all know i personally am somebody that does tend to drink quite a bit of coffee i try to not drink more than a cup a day but um i do find that having other alternatives like iced tea or hot tea um things like that can kind of help cure that craving if i will um and so I try to, like I said, have little mugs, have little cups, um, and little drinks with me when I can so I'm not gravitating towards buying a coffee at a cafe I walk by on the way to class or something like that. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you all are interested, I will have my little containers um, and things like that linked down below if y'all are interested in picking those up for yourself. Um, I really find that they help me, like I said, use portion control so I can let myself eat things like M&Ms and little salty snacks without going too over the top. But um, 
if you all enjoyed today's video please let me know i honestly really love this and i'd love to do more things like this in the future if you all are interested if you have not already don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below subscribe and let me know what other types of videos you would like to see from me in the future but i hope this was helpful and that you got some use out of it and i will see you all next time peace out bye